Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. So I got the input circuit finished. Made some strap, copper strap, with this uh, copper, solid copper material. I want to show you a trick. I take my micrometer, I set it to the gap, and then I just scribe it. One side just rides along the edge, the other side scribes it. Then I, I use scissors. Just plain old paper type scissors to cut it. Okay, so I removed the tube, it's back in the box, I had the 50 ohm resistor in, had all the calculations, I'll show you all the straps, so covers the entire 160 meter band, the entire 80 meter band, entire 40 meter, 20 and 15, no 10 meters in this box, I don't have enough uh, spots on the output rotary switch and I don't really care about 10 so this is a budget build I'm using parts I have around so uh, I'll give you some better views here some of the straps are soldered underneath the coil with the proper clearance to ground all the straps have enough uh, clearance from each other everything soldered to the Band switch really nice. Input rotary switch progressively shorting. That's it. So on to the next step. But this is all set, and these are temporary, just so I could turn them. I got sick of <laughs> grabbing onto the shaft, so it was a pain. But so stay tuned for more of this amp. Can't wait to get this thing done. Vacuum variables over there. And they'll come up through these holes and they'll have a right angle drive. This is upside down and it'll have a different panel across the front with turns counters for the output plate and load and also for the input circuit adjustments. So two separate rotary switch adjustments, you know, knobs, one for the input circuit, one for the output circuit. So that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. Like I said, more to come, but that is pretty, isn't it? Nice and pretty. So, that'll handle the drive requirement, 100% duty cycle. This will all get blasted with air, too, so it'll stay nice and cool. So, thanks for watching. Website is amprepairguy.com, 203-892-4119.